Hi guys, welcome back to Odd Vlogs. Today I'm gonna be doing one of the most requested videos ever on this channel. Like you guys have been suggesting this forever. Makeup routine, makeup routine, makeup routine. So today I'm gonna be showing you my college makeup routine, what I do to get this face all ready in the morning. <laughs> so my makeup routine kind of changes around the year, but um, my most recent one started at ClamorCon. That's when I like started doing the winged eyeliner because I've never done it before, and then I just started, I just kept with it. So that was like April. So this has been my makeup routine since April. Um, yeah, let's just get started. Here is my makeup. This is what the final product is going to be like. Nothing fancy, but a lot of you guys want a tutorial on eyeliner. And honestly, before, I actually never knew how to do eyeliner. I taught myself by just trying it one day. So I'm gonna take off my makeup, which is so sad because I hate redoing my makeup, but it's mostly because it takes me like half an hour to do my makeup <laughs> but this video is not gonna be half an hour long because that would just be so boring so take it off my makeup and then I will show you what I do in the morning and actually makeup is like one of the very first things I do when I get up in the morning I usually get up use the bathroom walk in my room and then do my makeup and so yeah, it feels so weird taking it off in the middle of the day because this is like my nighttime routine. So yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit crazy. So as you guys can already tell, it makes, I took off my ma like my face makeup on this side, but makeup makes all the difference. Like this is just me normally, and then this is me with my current makeup. Like wow, I feel like this makes my eyes a lot bigger, and then this one is yeah than this eye. So. Anyways, I will come back when my makeup is off. Alright guys, I am back. My face is so red and I do have some pimples, some breakout right now. Like on my cheeks, that's usually like the spot where I get them is like right here. Not really my forehead, it's just mostly like right here. So, the first thing I do in my makeup routine is I always put on like a moisturizer just to keep my skin not dry. Um, I do have like more dry skin than greasy skin, um, but some days I feel like I have a mixture of both because my dad has like really oily skin, my mom has really dry skin. And so most of the time I think I'm dry, but sometimes I, I like sometimes it is more oily. I don't know. It's not really oily. I don't know if that all made sense. But yeah, anyways, for my moisturizer, I just use this Quench Micro Water Complex Daily Glow Moisturizer. We found this at Sam's Club because this girl like tried really hard to sell it to us and we finally gave in and yeah, it's about to expire so I have to use it. <laughs> but I mean, I think it does its job unless it's just like a placebo effect where it's just really water and lotion then yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just rubbing that all over my face and then after I do that, I work on my skin the last just because of fallout, um, mostly fallout. Or if I make a mistake in my eyes, I need to wipe it away. I don't want to wipe away um, my concealer and stuff. So the next thing I usually work on is my eyebrows. I take this brush, I have like a, <laughs> This is supposed to be for your eyes, but I use it for my eyebrows. And then I use like this e.l.f. like two eyebrow, I don't even like know if this is for eyebrows. This one is a powder, it's like a light brown. And this one's like um, a creamish, creamy dark brown. And I just dip my um, brush in there. And then I just follow the outline of my brows. I don't want it to be a dramatic brow. I just kind of want to like fill it in so there's not like any spaces. <laughs> just looks like I have a full eyebrow. All right, and now once my eyebrows are done, 
Actually, usually I like to like brush them before to put them in the right shape, or, like the right direction, but they were all right in that. So I just kind of go whitely through my eyebrows again with this like pencil brush from, I'm not a beauty guru, how do I know this? I want to, oh, it's Benefit. Benefit, and yeah, this just like smooths it in so there's not any like random brown lines. Um, I think that's pretty good. Okay, so my eyebrows are officially done. Now we're gonna move on to my eyes, the most exciting part. So, what I do for that is I always prime my eyebrows with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Wow, I feel such a beauty guru, but I'm not. Actually, fun fact, my my YouTube channel, All Around Audrey, started off as a beauty guru channel. Bad idea. I don't know how to do any DIYs. <laughs> Anyways, I prime my eyes with these things just because it keeps your eye makeup on all day and if you live in a humid place like I don't live in a humid place but if you do um, I used to live in Florida and that stuff would like come off my face in the first hour of the day because it's just so wet in the air that everything just runs and so if you have that problem I totally recommend this it is a lifesaver and even if you don't live like in a humid place I don't know, I just like using it just for, just to know for sure that my makeup is gonna stay on and in the same place all day long. So even at night, like it lasts for 24 hours. All right, so I primed my eyes and now it's time for eyeshadow. I have so many palettes guys, but the one that I've been using most recently is Too Faced Chocolate Bar. What's so cool about this is it actually smells like chocolate. Mm, makes me want to eat some chocolate. <laughs> And as you can tell, I've been using this for quite a while now because I have like a lot of my um, shadows are used up. But the one I'm going to use for highlighting my brow bone is called White Chocolate. It's just this giant white section. So I apply that at the top of my eyes. And guys, you can do this routine along with me, like become a mini Audrey. And if you do, be sure to take a picture of your final results and put it on Instagram or Twitter and tag me at it. Because I want to see your guys' results and um, I will like your photos. I just think it would be so cool. We could be twinning. <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, I'm just putting it above the crease of my eye. And... Just filling that all in. I mean, it doesn't make a giant noticeable change, but it gets rid of some of the redness of my skin, which is nice. All right, so now that that is all done, the next shade I'm going to use is called Champagne Truffle. And guys, it is literally all gone. It's this shade. I'm just using the tiny little pieces in the corners. <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> And it's just like this really sparkly light pink color. And I put this on my lids right here. So as you guys could tell, you guys can see the shimmer. It's like highlighter. <laughs> and by the way, my makeup routine is very simple. I don't put highlighter, bronzer, like any of that stuff. I don't, I don't go above and beyond. I just stick to the bare minimal. <laughs> and also, since I'm almost gone with this, I need to find a new shade that I could put on my eye. But... Um, something that I have that like runs in my family is we have like hooded eyes. So basically like normal people's eyes are supposed to be like this, where you can see their eye. But like my eyes, like my eye, my eyebrows and like the skin right here goes a little bit over right here. So you can't really see my eyeshadow. It like hides them, like see the difference. Anyways, you guys probably don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so I've been like looking up tricks on YouTube and apparently you're supposed to like make this like a light shade and then the area around it a dark shade. So maybe I'll try that trick next after I run out of this eyeshadow. And you might see my makeup change in the next couple of videos depending on if it works or not and how good it looks. So yeah, there we go. Ooh. I actually like, got a piece of this in my mouth and it tastes like chocolate. I don't know if you're allowed to eat your eyeshadow, guys. <laughs> All right, up next, <laughs> my most favorite and least favorite part of the whole makeup routine, 
the eyeliner. So this is Superwoman on YouTube, like I, I Superwoman Lily Singh. This is her eyeliner and I love it so much. I love like felt tip, I think this is felt eyeliner. Um, I hate pencil eyeliner because it just hurts and I, I the, this just works for me. Like liquid eyeliner, like this is good stuff. Um, so what I do, this is, this is very hard to show you at the same time and try to do it right. But I'll try to show you how I do my outline. Actually, this is pretty good. So what I do is I just outline my eye. And I don't want to make my eyeliner really thick. I just want to go over it. I feel like the hardest pe part for people with eyeliner is making the wing. So I will definitely show you how I do it. Now keep in mind, I mess up sometimes and it gets really annoying because then I have to redo the whole thing. Oh yeah, and I use my left hand sometimes. I like switch between my hands. I guess I'm an ambidextrous makeup artist. <laughs> I don't know, this is easier. As you guys can tell, I just outlined my eye, the side. Um, and then I do the same thing to the other eye before I do the wings. So I'm gonna copy that on this side. All right, so both of them are done. Now this is where I would usually stop um, in my older makeup routines. Like I wouldn't ever do the cat eye part because it's just too scary for me. Oh wow, you can see my the rest of my desk here. There's like a hole. <laughs> this is where like cords go. <laughs> Anyways, um, but now I'm going to do the wing. So I always do the wing on my left eye first and then I try to recreate it on my right eye. So I take my felt eyeliner and I like, match it up to like the shape of my eye so if you draw a line right here that's where my eye goes so i match it up right there and then i just draw a straight line so i'm gonna do that right now see like that and then you fill it in so then i go above i just make like a little right triangle and then i fill that in And that is my eyeliner. Ta-da! We did it, guys. All right, so now that we got it on one eye, we gotta copy it on the other side, and that is the most difficult part because eyeliner, like you don't want it to point too up, but you don't want it to point too down. It has to be just perfect. <laughs> oh. oh, by the way, my mirror like changes. It sounds like a teeter-totter. Anyways, you can see my face. Hello! <laughs> Look at that! Okay, I am, I'm having way too much fun with this. So this is the hard part. I usually try to do it with my right hand and I like draw the straight line this way. Okay, so I'm drawing the straight line. Did I do that right? Oh no, see? See my problem? I like, I feel like on this eye I went too low. Do they match? I can't tell if both of them match. Ugh, let's see. I usually like look at myself for a little bit and like try to determine, try to fix the sides. Okay guys, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. So I don't know if you guys can tell, maybe it's just me, this eye points a little bit more up than this one. Maybe it's not that bad, like that much of a difference, but anyways. The eyeliner is done, that's basically how I do it. Now I taught myself this, I didn't watch any videos um, or read any instructions, I just did it. So this is probably not the right way you do your eyeliner, but if you wanna recreate mine, there you go. All right, up next, I'm gonna use a mascara, and this is actually Brooklyn and Bailey's mascara, they sent it to me, it's Lash Next Door, and it's pretty good. I really like it, so I'm like supporting all the YouTubers today. Superwoman, Brooklyn Bailey. <laughs> like, I just need a beauty, actually I do have a Beauty Gurus palette, but I didn't use it. Tisk tisk. All right, so I'm just gonna put um, mascara on right now, my top and bottom lashes. And I usually like look up when I do this because if I look straight on, I'll get it on my eye. Like, 
my hooded eye. So I like look up when I do that and also by doing that I don't have to go <laughs> make the weird mascara faces where you're like <laughs> So yeah, I will come back when my mascara is all done. All right, guys, my first layer of mascara is on, so I'm going to take my um, my eyelash curler. A lot of people are scared of eyelash curlers, but like they're scared of like ripping their eyelashes out or like getting it stuck to their eye. But it's not that bad, guys. Calm down. So <laughs> I'm just gonna stick it to my top lashes like so. Make sure you get it as close to your eye as possible, and then you just pump it and like wait for it to curl. I usually don't really count. I mean, I think you go to like 10, but I just do it until I feel like it's done. So I just I just sit here for fun. Um, also, you guys, you can make this makeup routine without having all the same supplies as me. Like obviously, I don't think everyone's gonna have all the same products unless you go out and buy them. And also, if you're a kid, don't put on makeup um, unless your parents are okay with it like make sure you ask them beforehand especially if you've never worn makeup before I definitely like when I first started wearing makeup I never wore this much makeup it, like you couldn't even tell when I first started wearing makeup that I was wearing makeup so it's been a gradual increase over time my eyelashes are curled ta da I don't know if you guys can see that and sometimes curling them will take off some of my eyeliner. It doesn't look like it today. So usually I'll do a few touch-ups. But now I just go back in with a second coat of makeup or mascara. And just make it a little bit longer. My eyelashes are, my eyelashes are pretty long. I just feel like my eyes, my hooded eyes, um, kind of block them in a way. And I have pretty long bottom lashes. All right, guys. So my eyes are done. Ba Boom! That's what they look like. And now I'm going to complete the face. This is my makeup bag, by the way. It's just this cute little benefit bag. So I go in with some concealer by Naked Urban Decay. Um, this is. I don't really know how to describe. This is fair or neutral shade because I am really pale. So I just put it in like all the areas I have pimples, which is like pretty much everywhere. So story of my life. I feel like though like I never put on foundation because foundation just doesn't like my skin for some reason. It looks, it just does not make it look smooth. But yeah, there is all of my concealer spots. Pretty good, pretty good. And then usually people like use a sponge, but I just go in with my fingers and I just like pat it around and it works for me. So this costs you no money to use your fingers. <laughs> you don't have to buy one of those little spongies. I have those, but I don't know, this is easier for me. All right guys, I will be back when all of this is done. Okay guys, I am back. My concealer is all mixed in and now I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder stuff for my skin. This also comes with um, sunblock or sunscreen in it, so that's nice. And as you can tell, I use it a lot. <laughs> um, and then this is like the brush you use with it. It is completely covered in it. So it's just like, it's like a powder. Um, foundation. I just basically pat that all around my face just to give it an even tone and get rid of some of the redness, especially on my cheeks. So I just pat that all around. And also you can buy this at Walmart. That's where I get mine. <laughs> Everything else though I think I buy at like Sephora or Ulta. Alright you guys, my makeup routine is officially done. The last step I usually do is like spray this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and fun fact, not really fun, but kind of funny is one time I went to do this and it was early in the morning and instead of spraying this, I spray perfume all over my face. Yeah, so it was sticky and stingy. But now I know never to stick my perfume next to my setting spray. So I usually just pull my hair back 
and just spray my face. Give it a few sprays. And mine is almost gone. I need to go back to the store and get some more. But yeah, that just makes like locks it all in um, for the whole day. That way, once again, it doesn't melt off your face. And then usually for chapstick, I just put on like Lip Smackers Fanta, like little kid chapstick. Uh, because it makes like, it has like a little bit of a tint and it also tastes really good. So, I mean, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my finished makeup look. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup routine. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure that if you do recreate this makeup look to take a picture and post it on Instagram or Twitter and tag me at all around Audrey. That way I can see it. And yeah, I hope you guys got some eyeliner tips out of this and that it helps. Um, don't know if any of the, I don't know if anything I said made sense at all, but I hope it did. And also if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe, turn from red to gray and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys know what time it is. Random dancing scene.